Hey, I'm very excited to tell you about the ultimate coding resources list. I was actually inspired to try and make a one-stop shop for some of the more common resources and some of the best resources in programming and web development. You know, oftentimes people always ask like, hey, what books do you recommend? What courses? You know, what are some sites I can learn, you know, algorithms on, all that sort of stuff? That's what this list is about. It's a collection of the best and uh, more common resources that we got, you know, and it, it covers quite a bit and it's going to continue to grow. This is a public repo, so you're always welcome to contribute to it. You can see here that there's going to be links and all of these such and a little bit of a description to go with it. So we have books, courses, various sites, you know, career and job sites, contract work, code playgrounds, uh, text editors, blogs, podcasts, subreddits, conferences, code extensions, VS code extensions, all that great stuff. Uh, so if you're interested, there's a link in the description. Let's go ahead and uh, look over what we got on the list so far and on day one, and it's going to continue to grow. So I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so let's go over the list so you can get an idea of what you can actually see on here. Now, um, books are quite a bit. I'm a big book reader. I've read about two thirds of the books that are on here and added some of the more popular ones. Um, courses. This is a section I'm actually going to throw a bunch into this weekend. There's a couple good out, a uh, couple good algorithm courses I've taken, as well as uh, these are like single courses, by the way, um, as well as some Angular, TypeScript, and um, Node courses that I'm going to put on here that are going to be really nice. But uh, something that I uh, didn't put as much into, and part of, part of the reason is I want other people to actually suggest things. Uh, you know, this is about. This is a, a open repo, so if it's something that you're interested in, you want to sort of help out and want to, you know, give some shout outs to some of the the great software resources that are out there, it's available for you. So we have coding platforms, sites where you're going to have like interactive coding, things like Code Academy, things like free code. Did I really not put Code Academy on here? I guess I forgot to put for Code Academy. Code Academy will go on here. It's hard when you're making lists of uh, that are so big. So, uh, but Code Academy will be something that will be added on here shortly. Uh, Scrimba is uh, something where I've put courses on, and uh, Free Code Camp. You know, I'm big Free Code Camp guy. I've done you know thousands of hours on there at this point. Algorithm platforms. Um, shout out to uh, Clarence. Is it Clarence? I, I forget. I forget the dude's name. An algo expert, but he he seems like a nice guy, and he just. Uh, I just watched a video on his uh, YouTube channel where um, he got a apology letter as part of the agreement with uh, all the shadiness going on with the other competing algorithm site. Uh, <laughs> so anyhow, shout out to him, dude. Doing it long style. Uh, via legal. Uh, <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate a good video. Anyhow. Uh, best four minute video I've watched all month. Uh, so, um, Hacker Rank, Leak Code, Code Signal, all these great sites where it's really focused more on algorithm related type platforms. Now, there's also course sites, things where the idea here is maybe a monthly subscription fee or a site where you can go and get a bunch of different courses, right? For, you know, $10 a month. Uh, Skillshare, Udemy, Udacity, all these great ones that are there. Career and job sites, right? Uh, just as important as, you know, coding resources is how to, you know, how to use those to go and actually code, right? To get a job. So you have things like Glassdoor, AngelList, uh, my big favorite, U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, where I get a lot of, sorry, how, how I got into code. I looked up what was, um, you know, what was hiring, what was, uh, paying well and what was continuing to grow and then pay scale and salary to make sure that you're getting paid what you're worth documentation sites sites to you know go go find out how shit works i guess at the end of the day some freelance and contracting sites i've told i've talked about this before as well craigslist is how i got my first internship it's how i got um a lot of extra little um little work when i really needed money on some of the stuff some component libraries and style this will grow as well. I try to keep it pretty simple, not to be too um, framework specific, but I imagine that eventually this will be broken out by, you know, Angular, React, um, you know, so on and so forth by, uh, by the Kamon library. Some hackathon sites. I think fondly back to Angel Hack, which was my first hackathon. Um, I still have the Amazon t shirt, although I'm much fatter than I was six years ago when I went to my first hackathon. And um, I look swole in it now. Like a good swole? No, it's more like a bad swole. Uh, <laughs> some community sites, um, things like Meetup, Code.org, Girl Develop It, the sites where you know you're going to be more active in the community. 
some code playgrounds, uh, JS Fiddle, Code Pen, Stack Blitz. Uh, I used to use Code Pen back in the day before I really used a text editor much. Uh, true story. Um, I liked Code Pen quite, quite a bit. People would give me uh, crap on it. Some more of the common tools that you're going to use in development. I use Trello all the time for my side projects and working with clients and things like that. Slack, GitHub, Hyperterminal, my favorite terminal. One of the the uh, the cool things uh, that you can do is customize this to such a degree because it's all built in Electron, which runs HTML, CSS, JavaScript. They have a lot of cool. Um, they have a lot of cool. Uh, like extensions people have done like um what are they call it the rainbow cat where you're typing and then you have the rainbow cat and like when you do a when you do a push a rocket fires off just stupid stuff like that or like one in ten it does the one in ten times that you do a commit it does the john cena comes out and does like the music and john cena in the background anyhow uh some cool stuff postman insomnia uh postman's like what the uh the old school guys like myself use all the new kids are using insomnia get cracking for those of you who like um you know get tools my uh, i have a couple buddies who are really big on this some um miscellaneous ones that i'm a big fan of autonomous ai this is my go-to place for standing desks and um, if you like uh, treadmills or just like it's a furniture related op you know office place really great probably the best standing desk that you can get for the price online or anywhere really from what I can tell, and I've bought in four at this point. So uh, three from here, one from somewhere else, and it was twice the price, and it wasn't. It was it was worse. It's the one I have right now. I'm quite unhappy with it, to be honest. Um, Unsplash, get some of those free resources, Humble Bundle. Some wireframes and mockups places that you can use. I personally use uh, Balsamic. If you're a student or you're doing stuff for... Um, for like the community they'll usually give you a free license but i think figma has a great free license package manager i might take this off this is something i wasn't sure i put on here this is a little too specific we'll see we'll see maybe we'll just continue to expand out text editor some uh, vs code you know i'm about that vs code life with some other options here for you some blogs another section that i want to grow out quite a bit I think the courses and the blog section will be something I focus a little bit on here. We got the Homie program with Eric on here. CSS Tricks, one of my uh, more favorite go-to places. Podcasts, of course, we're, we're going to put self-taught or not at the top of that. <laughs> um, Six Figure Dev and Tech Junior, both ones I've uh, guested on, as well as Free Code Camp. And a lot of other great podcasts. Maybe I'll reach out to them and be like, hey, you want to hook a brother up with a, a podcast? Facebook group. We got a couple Facebook groups for you who are big into that, such as Code Tech and Caffeine, my Facebook group. Uh, a couple other ones that I'm a big fan of, Programming Jokes, and I love programming. Uh, VS Code Extensions. This is my go-to extensions. I have pretty much every one of these extensions, and I love them all. <laughs> Bracket Pair Colorizer I started using like two, three years ago, and it's one of the best things I've ever done. Uh, Live Server is pretty great if you are working on a simple project where you want it to, to reload for you. Uh, Chrome debugger and then browser preview. Some a lot of people ask me about that in my courses. Hey, how do you get the browser in VS Code? Browser preview is how you do it. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Conferences. Some of the uh, conferences in the industry. Another uh, bunch of great ones. I I am going to NGConf this year, assuming they don't cancel it for various sickness reasons. I guess. Please don't demonetize my video, YouTube. <laughs> um. um Angel Hack also has some some conferences. Uh, although this should probably not be in here since we already have it in um, in um, what do you call it the uh, hackathons, uh, DevFest, some subreddits for those of you. I'm 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 not about that subreddit life. I uh, I listen to people who recite these funny things off subreddits on YouTube though. Uh, but some of the more popular subreddits are there. Some of the Chrome extensions I use on a regular basis, LightShot, JSON Formatter, Form Filler. Uh, you ever got sick of filling in all those form items and, and uh, you have all these form inputs and you're like, man, I wish there was just a button I could press to just auto-populate it. There is, and it's magic. Uh, and a lot of great other ones. So um, this is a cool little repo that I've started called Ultimate Coding Resources List. It's not quite yet at Ultimate. It's maybe a little, uh, little early to have that, but that's the goal. Uh, I'm going to add a bunch of stuff to it every week and uh, hope you guys check it out. Feel free to raise uh, some PRs. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. We're on that hashtag road to 100K trying to get that trying to get that silver plate button. It'd be appreciated. And if you're interested in any of my courses, and of course there will be a link to this in the description below for you guys, uh, but there's links for all that stuff. See you guys next time. Bye.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.